All right, so you finally picked me up Mm -hmm. and carried me over (laughs) and sat me down. Yes. And made me watch Hocus Pocus. I did. And I enjoyed it. Oh, good. I had a good time. Good. So much so that here I am drawing the Sanderson sisters. Yes. The stars of the movie. Right. This was something that I wanted to do Uh in time for Halloween. Oh, right, right, right. Because it's a really Halloween-y movie. Yeah, it takes place on Halloween. Right. But there's a lot of art to get done in October. Right. We did a lot of inking and drawing, and we did some sculpting and stuff. Yeah. And we just didn't have time to get this out in time for Halloween. Yes. You know, so it's going to be up on the internet Uh in November. Okay, right. And and we're going to be talking about Halloween, and I'm afraid that people might think that we somehow have lost track of time. Right. (laughs) But we didn't. We didn't. So to make sure that people understand that we know what's going on, Uh that this is just something that was intended for Halloween, Yes. but it has been left over, I have a little something for that. Okay. Halloween leftovers, leftover from Halloween. (laughs) (laughs) What was that? That's our new thing. That's our new thing? Well, it's our new thing whenever we have art that was left over from Halloween. <laughs> okay. And we've got a few pieces. So okay. you're going to be hearing that song a number of times this okay. month. How many more do we have? Oh, like 12. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so get used to it. Okay. <laughs> but the movie, what yeah. is it about Hocus Pocus that you really dig? Oh, well, it takes place on Halloween. So oh, yeah. the town is decorated. And people are walking around in costumes. Yeah, it really feels like trick-or-treating. It does, yeah. It feels like when you're a kid and you go out trick-or-treating. Yeah, so I like that part. It's also set in Salem. I like that, too. Yes. You've been to Salem. I have. It's a beautiful town. I don't know if it was filmed there, but it it definitely... But it's set there, and there's a certain essence to Salem and Halloween that all goes together. And Salem, you said that they they really do up Halloween right there. Yeah, they do. And, of course, witches. Witches, right. Yes. Because you're a big fan of witches. I am. Now, this is a witch movie, but it's not like... Right. We've seen a number of witch movies. Yeah. Some of them have been terrifying. Oh, they have. I know. There was that movie we watched recently called The Wretched. Yes. And that That's really scared me. Right. It was fun. It was a lot of it fun. It was a lot of but fun. But it was scary. Yes. Uh, this movie is not that scary. Hocus no. Pocus is not as scary as Wretched. It's not even as scary as Roald Dahl's Witches. Uh, right. With Angelica Houston. Yes. Who was a very <laughs> a very crone-like witch yes. when she transformed oh, with a hump gosh. in the back and the long, crooked nose. Oh, Yeah. This is more like, it's not so much like a zombie crawling out of the ground Halloween Uh decoration. It's more like a cardboard Frankenstein (laughs) smiling on your door. Yeah, it is very family friendly. It is. But they do have a zombie coming out of the ground. They do have a zombie coming out of the ground, (laughs) played by Doug Jones. Yes. Who was also in The Shape of Water and Hellboy. Yeah. But he is not, when I saw the zombie come up out of the ground. Yes. And I knew that he was going to be after the heroes. Right. I thought, all right, things are going to pop off go. now. Here <laughs> yeah. we go. This is really going to get a little creepier. But it, it right. never really got too creepy. That's true. He turned out to be kind of sweet, almost friendly. Right. I don't think I'm spoiling a movie that's, how old is this? Oh, my gosh. 27 years old? Yeah, something like that. But I still enjoyed it. Yeah, me I too. I had a lot of fun with this movie. Good, I'm so and glad. And I'm glad you made me watch it. Good. So that's really the fun, mm-hmm. light feel I'm going for with this illustration. Okay. I just want to make it fun and bouncy yeah. and kind of magical. Okay. You recognize these characters. Yes. I'm not really doing caricature art here. Right. Uh, I'm not a caricature artist, but I'm representing the characters in the movie Oh yeah. as played by Bette Midler, mm-hmm. Sarah Jessica Parker, right. and Kathy Jimmy. Right. Who did a great job. They did. They did a fantastic right. job. In all fairness, you know this is not my type of Halloween movie in general. Right. This is a very popular movie. It is, yeah. It's playing on TV, I think, 18 times this no, month. No. <laughs> uh, but people love it. Yeah, people love it, and that's cool. It's it's a fun movie. It's just, it might be yeah. a little fun, a little family-friendly for me as far as Halloween movies go. Right, a little soft. But all that said, I think that Sarah Jessica Parker did yeah. such a good job. I think it's my favorite role. Oh, that yeah. she's done. I agree with that. And uh, I, I love Kathy and Jimmy yes. in this. She really plays it up. Yeah. And of course, legendary performer Bette Midler. Right. She knocked it out of the park. She did, yeah. So that was a lot of fun. Right. And I also like the kid that played Max. Yes, he was, he was good. He used to be in a show called Erie, Indiana. Right. That I really liked. Yes. He does a great job, too. He does. You know, the one thing about this movie, and this isn't a complaint. Okay. I do not want leagues of fans after my <laughs> neck for this. All right. The the one thing that, it's always uncomfortable for me mm. in a movie, in an, any sort of production where they have someone, 
in the cast who can sing, mm -hmm. and they somehow shoehorn in oh. an excuse for them to do a song. Right. It's not a musical. No. And I, she did a, you know, Bette Midler does a song. She does, She yes. does a great job. Right. Of course. She does, yeah, you know, of course. But it always takes me just a little bit out of the movie uh -huh. when I know that there's a singer in the movie singing a song. Yeah. Like Sting doesn't sing anything when he played Dr. Frankenstein in The Bride. Right, right. <laughs> and I'm not sure that Bette Midler needed to sing anything in this movie. Yeah. It can sometimes seem forced, mm. you know, a bit unnecessary. Okay. And not in this case or anything, but sometimes it can seem maybe a bit ego-driven. Right. Having said all that... Don't... <sighs> <laughs> That's going to climb right up the charts. Oh, it is. And don't forget, there's like 17 more of those this oh, month. Good. So. <laughs> I know we didn't talk much about the artwork this time. Yeah. But there's really nothing new that yeah, I'm doing this time. But if somebody's watching for the first time. Oh, good, good point. Yeah. Good point. Uh, I think that I used brush pen and tech pen on the okay. line work. Yeah. Instead of brushing with an actual brush. Oh, okay. Because, you know, I'm not, I'm not really confident with caricature uh -huh. and I'm not yet confident with the brush uh, so I thought I'm not going to compound okay. my two great fears right. so I just used the brush pens and okay. I think they came out okay it did yeah but then I picked up the brush and and an ink wash right to do all the tones yeah and that's about it I think it turned out great thanks mm -hmm. so there they are the yeah. Sanderson sisters the witches from Hocus Pocus yes now, you're the expert on this. Uh -huh. What do you think? I think you did a fantastic How job. How did I do? I like it a lot. Now, yeah. you see, I did kind of a twinkly star, magical, mystical oh, Halloween yeah. night feel. At least that's what I was aiming for. Yeah, I think I really like that part. And Thanks. I think you captured their likenesses. Well, you know, I, I, I don't know if I captured their likenesses, but I, I think that I captured the essence of their characters yeah. in the movie. Yeah, and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty oh, happy. Me too. Want to hear the song one more time? No. <laughs> <Halloween>. <laughs> 